Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, Best of Designers series. We're going to go through Freedom and Freeze's board games and make a tier list for each of them. Uh, just kidding, we're only going to do the ones that I've actually played, which I haven't played a lot of his. But uh, let's uh, quickly go over the uh, designer here. Friedman Fries. Why is his hair green? Hmm. That is interesting. He's got green hair. Well, of course, because he enjoys the color green. But I didn't realize his hair would be, his hair would be green. That is just crazy. So, all right. It's saying here he's born in Germany. And he is notorious for loving the color green. He's got his own publishing company. So some of these designers get their own companies, too. And that's, uh, that's exciting when that happens. So he's made a lot of great games, notable games, starting from 2001. Um, all right, let's uh, move right in to some of the games that he has, he has done. So we will click Advanced Search, and we are going to take his name right here and copy that in. But before we do, we'll look through some of the different pictures that we have for him. You can see over here on the screen to the left, starting with uh, Power Grid and then working our way down, there is a ton of green out there in the uh, Friedman Free board game world. I see one little pocket of blue with the game Fauna and then Terra, but for the most part, it's all green. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Uh, he just loves his green, and I'm noticing a lot of Fs too, so Flea, Fortune, Fiji, Fool. Uh, this will be a fun list to do. <laughs> All right, thank you for making this uh, fun for us, Freedom and Freeze. All right, so we are going to go through... Let's see, the first one is Power Grid, and I really enjoy Power Grid as it uh, is kind of a, they say it's a mathematical game. I, I feel like, uh, yeah, you do need like a calculator mind to decide what you want to do in it. This is not a ticket to ride, connect the trains. This is a uh, mathing out. All right, I got to put this, it costs this much to link this power grid over to here, it costs this much to go over here. And you have a resources, a resource market that grows and shrinks. Um, and you can have up to three power stations uh, at any given time and you bid on these different power stations and as you get better ones you have to replace the ones that are not as useful um, which is very similar in theme to I would imagine in real life how uh, power stations go out of use and it's like all right we don't use coal anymore we used it a ton earlier in the game but now we're on to nuclear power and it's a lot uh, more efficient um, so Power Grid, really great game. I'm going to put that in A tier. Highly enjoy it. You should play it. Uh, then there is Power Grid Deluxe. Okay, I haven't played that. Friday. I didn't know he made Friday. That's cool. So this, I do not play very many solo games, but this is a game that um, I really enjoy of his. Um, and it is a solo game. Um yeah, you just it's a deck building game and you you start out with uh the pictures are kind of funny. It's like this really dumb uh castaway that you are Friday, I guess, helping the castaway learn and grow from Robinson Crusoe, I believe. I don't know, but you're you're helping him get smarter and better as he um learns how to work uh with life on this island and your your deck gets better as in any deck builder. So Friday, if you ever have any inkling to try a solo game, I would recommend it. I'm going to put it in the B tier. Um, at the very end, you have to fight like a final boss, which is pretty exciting. You have to build up your deck to fight this final boss. Um, yeah, and very enjoyable. Fabled Fruit, have not played it yet. It's a Stronghold game, right? Uh, Fauna, I want to play that. I think that's like a trivia game where you just have to get close enough to the right answer, but... Um, Fauna is about animals. Um, next up, we have Power Grid Factory Manager. People loved his Power Grid. We have Fearsome Floors. Um, haven't played that. Fayum. Haven't played that. Power Grid for Sparks. Haven't played that. I would like to. It. That sounds like a cool theme. Hmm. Felicity, the cat in the sack. Haven't played that. Terra. That's going to be similar to Fauna, I'd imagine, but uh, 
you may not know for sure, but <sighs> close counts. Okay. Um, then next up we'll have Copycat. I think that's a picture of Freedom and Freaks on Copycat, so that's cool. Um, Funkin' Slog, I haven't played that. Fast Sloths, I think that's a pickup deliver game. I like pickup and deliver in a, in a board game. That's always exciting for me. Um, yeah, so Fast Sloths, I think you're, you're working with these slow sloths, uh, moving around, picking up things and delivering them, but I haven't played it. Fuji Flush, ooh, that's a great game. I played it. <laughs> it's a card game where you are um, taking, uh, let's see, so you've got a bunch of cards in your hand and it's a trick-taking game. Let me just put it in the A tier first. So you, uh, is it trick-taking? Hmm. You be the judge. It's probably not trick-taking. I don't, I'm not really a fan of trick-taking as a mechanism, I think. But uh, anyways, you play out a card, um, and it's a number. Let's say it's a a five, and there's a lot of fives in the game. Uh, there's not a lot of 20s. There's actually only 120 in the game. There's only 119, 118, and then I think there might be a couple of 15, two 15s, uh, you know, two 14s, two 13s, three 12s, three 11s, and then three 10s, a bunch of nines, bunch more eights, a lot more sevens, six, fives, and then it gets all the way down to twos, and there's just a ton of twos. So the way it works is you play out your card. Say it's a five, and then somebody else plays a two. This is better played with multiple players, like a ton of players. So you play out your five, they play out a two, and then the next person after them, they play out a six. If they play out a number that's higher than any of the numbers played previously, then they flush that number. And you have to, and they, uh, they, they discard that card. And then a flush means you, just like you'd flush a toilet, you see the spiraling thing on the, on the front cover of this Fuji flush. So just like you flush a toilet, the water goes down and then it comes back. So that's how I tell the new players, you discard the card that you had played out. So you're five and you're two. Uh, they get discarded and flushed back to you as a new card, and then now you're still at your five-card hand or whatever you have. Um, and then the way it works is if it gets back around to you and nobody's played a higher number, then say that person played a really high number. Maybe they play, so we had the five played, then the two played, then somebody plays the six, somebody after them plays the 20, and then it goes all the way around and it gets back to the 20 player and nobody's played a higher number than them, then instead of flushing, they push, and when they push, they just, you, you push it out, and it doesn't come back to you. It's out of your system. And then instead of having uh, five cards, you now only have four cards left. And if you can push five times, meaning you don't flush, you, you're flushing, you get rid of the card, and it comes back to you as a different card from the deck. If you can push five times, you, you play the card, wait a whole round, it comes back to you, and uh, around, the, around the toilet seat, whatever, and then it comes back to you, and it's your turn then you you get to push it out of your hand uh, fully. You don't have that card anymore. You push five times, you won the game. It's like Uno. You, you get rid of, except you don't have to announce you're at Uno. When you push that final card, uh, hey, you, you've won the game. So um, that in itself sounds pretty uh, luck-based. Like, okay, he drew the 20 and the 19. He's going to win, of course. However, when you... Uh, play out your card, say you play out your five, somebody plays out their two, somebody else after that person plays out another two, they, those twos can combine forces and now each of those, their twos are considered a four. And then somebody else after that plays out another two, and now all the twos are considered sixes because the twos can join forces. Actually, every number can join forces with their own number. And uh, I think that'd be really cool if another game like incorporated that in it with like animals or something like that like uh animals that are more cooperative together like maybe ants but they're only twos and you have a bunch of army ants joining forces and they can take on a, a, an elephant or something like that but that's like sorry tangent of a game that i would love to design but anyways this is just flushing toilets so you've got a two a two a two now that can beat uh five and below and ties with a six which ties don't do anything if it gets back around to the guy who has a six he's going to still if it gets back around to you and you didn't flush, then you push, and then you play a new card out. Um, 
But if it gets back around to you and you push and you were teamed up with somebody else, so say it gets back around to those those twos, those three twos that now they're all considered sixes, and you'd need a seven to flush all of them, uh, it gets back around to them, then you're going to have to, or then, uh, then if it gets back around to any of those, then they push and everybody else who joined the forces with them also pushes. So... Uh, it's a way you can kind of join up with other people and kind of be on teams. It's really exciting when you when you do that in the game. So I would say Fuji Flush is one of the better games out there um, for just single deck of cards, like 20 cards, or this probably, there's more than 20, like 40 cards, whatever. But uh, it's just cards, and it's fantastic gameplay. Um, really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. If you like just simple card games, Fuji Flush is definitely the way to go. Um, all right, next up we have Power Grid, the card game. I haven't played that. Funny friend, Fiends, Friends, I haven't played that. Familia, I haven't played that. Ah, uh, all this F, 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 it's messing with my lips. Finished, Fast Flowing Forest Fellers, Mega Watts, haven't played that. Black Friday, haven't played that. Fresh Fish, haven't played that. First and Feld, haven't played that. Fish Flup and Frickadellin, haven't played that. Fresh Fish, haven't played that. Fast Forward Fortress. I know there's the Fast Forward series with Stonemaier Games. I don't think that, uh, obviously they didn't do like super hot, but the idea was that I would like to play them. The idea was is you can just start the game by flipping over the, uh, you don't even have to read the rules. You just flip over cards and they teach you the game. It's a fast forward game. So I'm I'm wary of those type of games because I feel like I'd be like, okay, hold on, I don't get the game. Let me read the rules. The the, the first four cards didn't explain the rules well enough. Let me, but uh, but I'd like to try any of these fast forward series ones. America, I think that's in the same group of uh, Terra and Fauna. All three of those are just trivia games about animals, the Earth, and America. And the idea is you just have to uh, just get close, you know, close counts in this trivia game. Yeah, 504, that's a lot of Fs. 504 is uh, apparently nine game mechanisms can be changed up to be played in 504 different unique ways. I was about to be like, hey, finally a game that doesn't have an F in it. And then I was like, 504, nope. <laughs> okay, Freeze's Landlords, Wine Sand, uh, Frunchen Blog. I haven't played any of those. Um, yep, so... The fast forward series would have fear, flea, and fortress on in it. So he makes a lot of games in series as, as well, and fortune. All right. So let me know in the comments below what you think about uh, his games. Uh, Freedom and Freeze. Uh, from what I, what I've played, they're all in the A and B tiers. Uh, they're actually pretty great games. So let me know in the comments below any of the ones that I should try from his. Uh, sets of games. I'm noticing none of these are on Board Game Arena, which is a shame. I hope more are in the future. But thank you very much for watching this, and take care.